get out of the way. I should get a bulk of these veggies. Won't be long. Tuna casserole, huh? <laughs> Doing some editing, watching the NFL, draft, and listening to the stream. All right, cool. Um, please excuse this noise for just a bit. Ugh. And hey, we're here. How are you doing? Oh, shit. Good thing I caught that broccoli. A little veggie mix in this bowl here. That's a big ass piece of broccoli. Right. Oh, awesome. That means in two more days you're legal enough to drink. <laughs> All right. Let's have one end. Get you over this. Cheddar, cheddar and bacon ranch. I just realized even you know, the thing of ranch. I can just throw in the second one because we just finished off this piece of broccoli here. <laughs> then you hit 22 and it's whatever, yeah. Until you hit like 25. And then like the rest of the milestones of what your ages are are just like when you reach the next. Um... <coughs> 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 the next decade. Holy shit. Sorry for the loud sneeze. Diego, I was live like last Friday doing Pokemon. <clears throat> but I never drink alcohol, soda, tea, Kool-Aid, and Mountain Dew is fine for me. Huh. Whenever I drink alcohol, I do it for an occasion, and um, it's always just beer. And that's like the most minimal damage you would ever do to your body compared to like taking a shot of whiskey or vodka and shit. <clears throat> Alright, so we're gathering some people here. And I thought it just occurred to me, I haven't started a call. I'm still, like, waking up. Because I had, like, a, a very short nap. Actually, voice, do I have you on my fan server? There's that fucking delay. Ugh. Um. What the fuck, Nick? Um. If you want, I can uh, send you a link to my um. Um. Uh, uh, a link to it. I have you on Discord. I can just send it to you there. <clears throat> Uh, where are you? So, I'm still, still waking up. All right. Is it him though or him no? Neither of the two. I don't have any of my contacts. What the dick? Okay. Uh, time to fix that. All right. Where are you? No, not Ink Rose. I like to look at the list from the TF2 server. Oh, there you are. Um, let's see if this will work. 
Oh, so I do ha Oh, I was supposed to put in Voice of Reason. Because sometimes there's like Head No 24 and there's Voice of Reason. <laughs> Alright, there you are. And... I see Myth Pony plummeting herself down. It's currently not on screen, so whatever it is that I'm watching, you guys have no idea what the fuck's going on. Uh, based on what I'm saying. Alright, that is taken care of. Now... To give you your rolls... Do, 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 and you could have those too. Yeah, Marvel Pass or maybe not, I don't know. Um, anyways, welcome to the club, voice. <laughs> the fuck is my phone vibrating for? Um, mobile live dashboard, I don't fucking care. I'm gonna go ahead and put that to the side. Uh, stream party. I should be there. I'm sure you know how to work with um, uh, the the how to join a call on Discord. If not, I can guide you. <clears throat> I think that meme has been around for a while. Eh, whatever. Boo. Oh, hi. <laughs> God damn it, man. <laughs> Sorry, that did not do shit to scare me, but still, that is hilarious. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, let's see, stream sources. Um... Yes, Magical Star. We've kind of known that for years. All right, let's go ahead and start up a uh, an emulator. All right, let's go ahead and start that up. Things are a little bit slow right now. Yeah, just refer to voices, voice. Hello. Oh, I hear somebody joined. Oh, yeah. hey, there you are. Hey, how's it going? Hey, nothing much. Yeah, oh, hang on. Let me just adjust the mic to the I'm using the one. Yeah, because you sound like you're, like, distant in a fucking bedroom. <laughs> okay, there we go. That, okay, better mic. Play. Okay, cool. Um, I may have to turn up the volume on your end. Well, I turned up the volume of mine. Let me turn up the gain as well. Hang on. Oh, okay. Let's just hope there's no like bleed to the ears. Whoa. Oh. Okay. There we go. That that'll look better. Two times sub boy. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for the sub admiral Sprinker. Uh, so what are we playing? Um. Well, right now I'm doing. Okay. So the, what I normally do is that I do a little bit of a warm up on a pre show where. Basically, I test things and see how things go, and I just play a little game for a bit. And then um, I start on a game that I'm working on, and it really all varies. And that's where I like. Oh, okay, so you're doing Super Mario uh, Bros. 3 to start things off. Yeah, I do like a Mario game of some kind, mostly All-Stars, just to like kick things off. Sometimes I play a different game. Okie dokie. Yeah. So, uh, today, um, I'm hopefully finishing off one of the dumbest educational games. Uh, oh, yeah, Mario is missing? Yeah. Dr. Barney, thank you for the 25 bits. Y yeah, uh, um, yeah, it it's a really dumb uh, game. Like, not the worst game, but still, like, eh. Like, it's passable. Uh, okay, well, let me ask. Out of the, the versions, like, the at which, which version SNES. is the least awful the SNES, oh, SNES version is least awful um I okay I can't make the comparison of that I thought you were asking me which one I'm playing no I'm playing the SNES version can't say much about the NES or um the the CD-ROM version I probably don't okay. want to know <laughs> um I remember playing the NES version on an emulator and I had no, I had no idea what the hell I was doing yeah no like the way the game is set up it's confusing as hell yeah. It took me like 
a good ha like half an hour to be like, oh, so you do this and you do that. And then I found out that you press A to talk to, you know, the peach recolor at the counter for information. Huh. Huh. Yeah. Who's yeah, uh, MS DOS, uh, what the, uh, the, the chat said. Okay, Ro uh, Roginiel, uh, Roginiel, NES version is pretty much the same as the as SC NES, actually. Huh. Well, I, I remember, I think it was Mar- no, okay, I'm thinking of another game, Mario's Time Machine. Uh, oh, God. Is, is different between the two versions. If I recall, gotta put, you know, that in caps lock. <laughs> Start, okay. get back here. There we go. Oh god, the NES version sucked. Dude, they all suck. Look, all the, the frickin' Mario um, is missing games are just fucking stupid. That's what happens when Nintendo tries to go for the educational route. I remember my sister had one of the Mario preschool games. Oh uh, fuck. Is that fun with numbers? Might have been. It's the it was one of the SNES ones. Okay. I believe it might it might have been fun with numbers. <laughs> uh, I remember she only had like, um, she only had I think like two games uh, that she that was, uh, on the SNES. One was uh, one was if I recall, uh, was the Mario preschool game. And the other was the was Barbie's SNES game. <laughs> I can already tell how south that would go. Uh, well, I've t I, t I did actually test it out. Um, the big issue with that game uh, was probably the like the the vehicle and like. There's there's two sections. One is a memory section, and then the other is a vehicle section. So, the first the first stage uh, you're driving in a car in or in the in the traditional pink convertible. Uh, then I think the next section you're I think you're roller skating down like Venice Beach or something like that, and then the and then the third section is you um you're walking in like central park or something is i think that's how it went and then each one would have um a couple of like mini games in between one was a what well, what was a memory game mm -hmm. involving uh giving barbie a makeover you're given basically a couple seconds to look at a at a picture uh, of Barbie in makeup, and then it cuts to black it, and everything resets. Yeah, remember, um, remember what every makeup portion was? Oh my god! Yeah, uh, what what we ended up doing is just making Barbie look however we wanted to want her to look like. So it basically, made her look like a fucking clown. <laughs> Um, well, I don't, well, it oh, wasn't, hey, Jesse. I don't, hey. hello, not bliss. <laughs> God dang it, you too. God dang it. Well, that's, well, that's, that's all the streams, the streams have said. Well, I said, hello, well, I said, hello, not bliss. Gosh darn it. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm glad Derek's not with me. Uh, you're, you, you need to adjust your mic. I can hear the, uh... God bless me. Yeah, I can hear oh. the snowstorm from the wires. Huh. Okay, pick is in. Sorry, just watching the info grab. Yep. Yeah, you sound better. There. Stupid thing. Okay, hopefully I'll get a new headset with some better mic quality. Hopefully. Oh, and the first pick is in for the NFL draft. And By the way, you saw on... the um, the uh, Sparkle Seven episode. I have. A, that's oh, actually the episode I'm currently editing. Uh, oh, oh! What did you think? Um, 
Okay, uh, I'm going up against everyone on Equestria Daily. 500 a lot better than uh, Slice of Life. Oh, you think it's better than Slice of Life? You know? Oh, by a long shot. Hey, Golden. Better than Slice Hope of you life. and Voice have a good stream. Honestly, I have to admit, I need a good mood lifter nice after what I pace. heard earlier today. So let's have fun. No. Uh, <laughs> Magical wait, was there be quiet. I don't know what happened earlier today, but yeah, no. I can definitely agree that it was better than Slice of Life. Slice of Life was just stupid fun. Sparkle 7 was just an absolute, like, joy of clever writing. Yeah, I... Th uh, I've mentioned this in in the review. Um, Nikki and uh, Nikki V and I are, cla are collaborating on this one. Oh um, fuck yeah! Gotta have Nikki, man. Hasn't been a while since I've heard from him. Indeed. Yep. yep. Um. So yeah, basically we agreed that while um a slice of life uh basically had a lot of uh let let's throw throw whatever at the wall and see what sticks. Uh, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, the Sparkle 7 had a, co a cohesive three-act structure, plus it had a connection to the overarching plot with, uh, with Grogar's return. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and I, I think pretty we pretty both pretty mentioned pretty that, um, how... How the uh, the episode didn't become a, a, a hodgepodge of contrasting ideas is nothing short of a miracle. <laughs> it, oh, like from what I've heard, like the uh, voice actors wanted to write their own narrative and they kind of like connected them all together. Yeah. So the so Tabitha had the oh this would be a cool idea to have, have the overarching plot be a high then. Uh, each one, each of each of the others would have uh, like something they want to input for their character. So uh, Applejack turns out to be Hannah Montana. Um, <laughs> uh, Flutter, Fluttershy got to have her Mission Impossible moment. Uh, yes, it's yeah, like Ocean's like Ocean's Eleven. Nelson, uh, it's Sparkle uh, Sparkle Seven. Yeah, I like. Oh, oh, I heard. Hi, EG. Oh, hey! Hey, Hello. hey boys. Howdy, dude. Yeah, how's it going? Uh, doing okay. Um, so yeah, so we had the... Flourish I had her, uh, what should we call it? Uh, her, uh, Mission Impossible moment. Uh, <laughs> Twilight got to do more stuff with, uh, uh, with, with Shining Armor, which I thought was really good. Mm -hmm. I think it was um, adorable. <laughs> uh, Are you guys talking about the new episode? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, Pinkie Pie... Sadly, did not go to space. I would. I was hoping oh! she. Getting more to space. By the way, Courtney, thank you for the I donation. I forgot to mention that earlier. Gotta go space. Eat a seed along. <laughs> and I'm actually surprised that uh, Ashley Ball wanted to see more of Rainbow Dash interacting with Zephyr Breeze. Oh my God, that's no, insane. Yeah, but no. The thing that always got me laughing my ass off is just the fact that Rarity goes to dress up Dash. Like, are you guys trying to play up the whole Dash likes to dress up from uh, Gen Three or some shit? Oh God, that. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you mention that. The way she was dressed, look, she looks so much like um, what's her name? Megara. Uh, Meg from Hercules. Yep. I noticed. Yeah. Okay, now that you said that, I see the resemblance now. I can I can now just imagine to be like I'm a dancer. And it fits. I'm in and distress. it fits well because uh, Pegasi are like a, a related to a Greek mythology. Well, not just that, but also <laughs> yeah. Dash's character matches like the closest to Meg's character when you think about it. Oh yeah, yeah. definitely. Whereas like let's say I don't know Rarity's character would match to what princess would she match to? Not Cinderella. Rarity. Yeah, Rarity? no, like, because I noticed no, that there's, she... there's those, there's those, like, connections or comparisons with, like, each of the main six, but the, uh, Disney oh, princess I, characters. Oh, I, I saw that picture, so if I remember on it, it was, Twilight it was Belle, obviously. Yeah, that would make sense, bookworm. Um, I believe <laughs> Applejack was Cinderella. I don't know about that. Bit of an odd choice. Or Snow White. Wait, who's Snow White? But yeah, Fluttershy Fluttershy. Snow White. Fluttershy. Yeah, the love for animals. Um, I believe Pinky was actually Ariel. Eh, I could kind of see that. 
I'm gonna have to um, think about that. Uh, I've tried. I forgot the other two. Uh, Rainbow Dash. Yeah, I, they. I, I don't know which princess would be Rainbow Dash, but, I, but seeing her as Meg, it kind of fits well. Yeah, that fits too well. I think she fits better as Meg, too. Mm -hmm. I am blanking on who she was. And then Rarity, Rarity... was Jasmine. Yeah. Yes, Rarity was Rarity Jasmine. Was that, yeah. that kind of works, because Jasmine has some like a bit of jewelry on her, like the kind of jewelry that's more noticeable. Mm -hmm. Not to yep. mention her personality does match Rarity's a little bit more. Um, yeah. well, True. okay, the, okay, so the thing with Jasmine's character is that she's a bit on the rebellious side because she wants to see the world and everything, whereas Aladdin is the completely different personality that he wants to live in the palace. Um, okay, I, I, I'm starting to connect now because Rarity wants to connect, um, like, expand her business to other places, so I guess you could take that as a comparison. Right. Uh, some- oh yeah, that's right. Derek Bernie says that Smolder also has a princess dress. <laughs> I guess can't wait, see, can't wait to see that addressed in a future episode. Oh! Do you know what princess I think would connect better for, uh, Applejack? Hmm. Uh, pardon, no. pardon me for breaking the rules, but Princess Tiana. Oh, Tiana. actually, now that you think about because it, Because Tiana's work. a that very hard-working really... person. Yeah, she's a hard worker kind of character, and it does fit Applejack's character too. Yeah. 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 And, and they're both southern. Yeah. In well, a way, because New Orleans is somewhere down in the southern well, areas. But she, well, like she's south. well, keep, well, keep in mind, Tiana is also southern. She's not Cajun. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It, it, there's still a connection. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it, Cajun is a it's a mix of. Of Southern and French. Right, right, right. That's right. Okay, and the 49ers select. Fucking kiss my ass. <laughs> but yeah, um, now, now that I see Rainbow Dash's Meg, it, I cannot unsee it, and I kind of am hearing Rainbow Dash's voice quoting Meg's words. Season, <laughs> season, what are you up to? She season. Says, she says, I'm wondering what Princess Golden Fox would be like. Um, oh. just Princess down Golden Fox. <laughs> down season, down. Oh, God. The and, Princess okay. Golden Fox. Now, who here's familiar with the, behold, now who's familiar behold. with the Death Note anime? I have, huh? I'm familiar, I'm... but I haven't watched it. Uh, okay. Oh, shit. There's, uh, there's a, there's a big, there's a big, uh, okay, like, I don't know if I should share you the the ending of Death Note, but oh, I know I about the ending of Death Note and how it sucked. <laughs> okay, okay, hear me out a second. Um, when I was Jeez. watching uh, the ending of uh, of um of the new episode of MLP, um, that's why it's seven or Sparkle Seven or whatever. Yeah. The way Sp the way Spike uh, manipulated all the plans of uh, of uh, of Twilight and uh, and Shining Armor and in that he won. Reminded me of the of the ending of Death Note, and but oh, oh that... I know what you're talking about because Kathy was like also voiced near exactly, and I oh, I explained God. this to everybody at at BabsCon. Josh, jo I blew Josh's mind. <laughs> <laughs> he was about to fall off at the edge of the seat and it blew his mind. <laughs> I, I forgot I about it. <laughs> like everybody was, everybody's mind of the blow. Like freaking keyframe was like so broken. She said to me, "You're such a nerd." Netflix <laughs> was that. just calling me a weeb. <laughs> Equestria guy to, I, I I don't know. I don't know who what princess I would be compared to. Honestly, I see a few characters that do fit you, but one of them that tops it all in personality trait-wise is... I forget her name, but it's Scottish Princess from Brave. Oh, Merida? Oh, God. Yes. I mean, think about it. She's a very strong, independent woman. Golden, you're strong and independent. No, 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 no. I think Mad Munchkin is Merida. <laughs> 
<laughs> She's yeah. the real Scottish princess. Yeah, you gotta bring out them bagpipes. <laughs> we we love you, Maddie. <laughs> okay, which princess do you think I would be? Tiana? Uh, I'm, list, I'm curious. Tiana? Or also another, also another thing to mention, um, is Silver Quilt after what I shared it to uh the other uh, the other people in the in our uh V in our meet and greet salon, uh Silver Quilt was like, so Spike is near and Josh's mind is afar. <laughs> God damn it. I burst it out <laughs> laughing at that. <laughs> what if Golden Fox was Princess Elsa? Um, I don't think that would work. I don't know. Elsa was a very is a very insecure person at the very beginning, and she yeah. technically isn't a princess, she's a queen. Yep. She trumps and she trumps all of them. Exactly. Well, not to mention all she the... controls things with ice, and I'm the complete exactly. opposite when it comes to my character. Yeah, you're more fire than ice. <laughs> yeah. Fire. Oh, I think I got one. Actually, I think I got one that fits me better as one of the Disney princesses. Uh -huh. This may kind of cheat. This may count as a cheat, but she still technically qualifies. Vanellope. Oh yeah, Van oh, Van from Vanellope von Schweetz. She's from, definitely. From, uh, wait, is she a princess or is she a queen in uh, Sugar Rush? No, she's no, princess. She's She's titled as a princess, but she call but she likes to title herself as a president. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Although I could only imagine that, you know, given that whatever hell uh, was given to you, you know, all those stories you told me from high school, you'd be like, let's see, what would I do with all these people? I would have them executed. Executed. I'm just kidding. Stop crying, Taffeta. I'm trying. He won't stop. Even <laughs> stop. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 Plus, if you were God. Elsa Elds, you would be here. Uh... Season, okay. are you trying to do something to EG? Okay, I'm gonna confess. Season? Elsa is one of my favorite princesses, uh, one of my favorite Disney princesses, or queens, whatever. Okay, well, my... A She's a tie between Cinderella... And yeah, both Elsa and Cinderella are my most favorite princesses. Alright, well... Uh uh, if we're gonna go that route, uh, my favorite princesses are Tiana, Jasmine, and I forget who the third was. I think it probably I'll be. I know my Disney. God princess. damn you, season for sharing that. Uh, my <laughs> movie uh, would probably be. Sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, what what was the third one? What movie was the third one in? I'm tr like, okay, so for the most part, I'm kind of thinking about what my favorite Disney movies are. And Aladdin is uh, one of them. Lion King is another, without the, you know, haunting thought of it being a ripoff of Kimba. Um, Ugh. Uh, what is Kimba it? Kimba the White Lion! Yeah, no, the thing that people won't shut up about. Right? Yeah. No, um... Because, okay, a lot of other my favorite Disney movies kind of vary into, like, kind of the outer areas of, like, you know, their golden ages and such. Like, for instance, I loved right. Atlantis. I guess Kida counts? Yeah, Kida is a pr is technically a princess. Yeah. Yeah. I would say what Nala, about, uh... but that would be really odd to pick. <laughs> Nala? I don't think she... I don't think that would qualify as a Disney princess. She's more of a queen of the Pride Lands because she's married to Simba. Oh. She's yeah. the one you yeah. think of her hosting. Mm. Oh, Jesus. No! What about uh, what about Princess Aurora from Sleeping Beauty? Yes, Princess that, Aurora well. is just a dud. No. Oh! I'm Ooh. sorry. Like, okay, my issue with the Sleeping Beauty movies, they focused way too much on those uh, fairy uh, characters. That whatever happened to Princess Aurora, she's just in the background. I had no care. Oh, so I'm guessing. Oh, so that so it's basically Princess Cadence. Oof. Ooh. No, Cadence actually had much more proactivity than Aurora did. Yeah, yeah. but she barely has development. <laughs> oh. oh! And I want like, to like her for that. <laughs> like, but... Okay. Go ahead, boys. Which ones are your favorites? Oh, mine? Um, Belle is, pro is probably one. Uh, Tiana. And... <laughs> Who dissed best mom? What do you mean best uh, mom? Is Aurora a fucking mother or something? Best what? milk. What? 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 
Uh, I'm reading what the Echo uh, Peach Tree Paver said. I I have no idea. I have no idea. Oh, I think. Oh, they're talking about oh, Cadence. Oh, uh, oh wait, 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 wait. Oh. I get it. He's asking who just uh, uh, Cadence, who is his best oh. mom. Okay, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, no, 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 hear me out. I, I love Cadence if I, if I, um, if I, her relationship with, with Twilight and all, but I want to like her more if she had a fucking character development. Oh, right. Cause give her, give us a damn episode of her already. We're, I'm already I, happy we got, I'm already happy we got a, a, a number of Celestia episodes, and now we need a Cadence episode. Yeah, you gotta episode. balance that shit out, you know? Um, yeah, we, like, yeah, I, I will tell you. Season, I will tell you. One this, season left. Just yeah, give us something. Yeah, I know. I I, <laughs> I will say this much. I definitely love this green time with um her and shining armor in the best gift ever. <laughs> oh yeah, that was yeah, that was really neat. I mean, I in general, that was a fun uh, special. Yep. It's you stupid, but it's stupid, but I love. Like, it. You can tell by the, I love it. You can tell by their faces that they want to have a second baby. <laughs> oh! <laughs> we crossed that territory. <laughs> I'm on a roll. Oh, shining armor! I want your sword. Oh! Ah! Ah! Thanks a lot, Golden. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, play dance on this chest. <laughs> Okay, shut up, EG. <laughs> so, Mysterious Rose says, So, you're gonna add princess outfits to your secret closet now, Golden? Don't let Twink seek you and pee and Oh, does it count that I would include Princess Jasmine because of a harem outfit? Hello. Oh, God. <laughs> maybe. maybe. <laughs> I mean, maybe. It, it would count, honestly. <laughs> you're making me want to read. You're making me want to reanimate that sexy scene of Jasmine in her red outfit. <laughs> it, I mean, the reason why I say this is because both are from the obvious concept of Arabian culture. They're the same kind of outfits and same part of the same culture, so it does kind of make sense. It's kind of a mixture between both Jasmine and Shantae, but it's more green than it is either right, blue right, or right. red. And it has a veil compared to the other two. I'm trying to remember which one was my personal favorite to secret this. Uh, uh, I try, I try, I try. Was... Go ahead. I'm trying to remember Pardon. my third. Tell my me third the third is my third is Bell. Of course. And who cannot love Bell? Bell's awesome. Yes. Okay, uh, well, well as long as they're not played by Emma Watson. Oh, burn! I was Oof. about to say that too. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's my problem when it comes to like live action Disney films. Why can't they just hire the Broadway actors? I mean, they got and they got good, they got good acting. Because big well, name celebrities equals a... bigger money. Celebrity, yeah, and... celebrity sell. Yeah, and also if they did, they have to make sure that it matches the age theme of each of the characters from the movie. So. Season, what the right. fuck did you link me? I better take a look at this. Hey. I better <laughs> pause this. Nope, 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 nope. Gotta pause, gotta pause. God damn lag. Shit, that was loud. <laughs> I, I see uh, what it is. It, it's a CG thing. Uh -oh. It's like CG anime, that sort of thing. Kind of like Ruby. Yeah. But technically, Leela Steel Mulan kind of counts in the roster of Disney Princess, even though she's not really a princess, but she, she's considered one. She's marketed as one because she was a big selling point in the Disney Renaissance. Yep. Oh, well, that's right. That's I, I can't hit the, the freaking sun thing. I think I've been on the pre-show for quite a while now. I think it's time to get started on... Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. After yeah. the stage, holy shit! Yeah. Don't touch me, son. Oh, that's me. <laughs> Don't touch me there. <laughs> hey, oh, that's princesses. I'm trying to remember my Disney princesses. Okay, I know um, Jasmine was my number one. Just for the re always... just for the record, uh, for the chat, uh, if you go to send me like a YouTube link, I'm not gonna be able to like stop and look at it. 
I mean, this was a pre-show, and I was just taking a little glance of whatever it was, but that's pretty much about it, because I'm more focused on playing the actual game. It's kind of... It's kind of strange that how uh, Kingdom Hearts uh, much about puts it, Alice I'm... from Alice in Wonderland as a Disney princess. That makes no sense. Eh. It, it is what it is. She's supposed to be a princess of Ori, so... Yeah, that's true, but still... Let's see. You could just pick a different one uh, who is technically canon to the princess... Disney Princess. All right, Calvary. so time to um, time to uh, get started on the game. Let me first update the uh, little Twitch title. <coughs> Bless you. Bless you. There you go. That's how we're remember. gonna end it. That's how we're gonna end the pre-show. <laughs> I sneezed. Um, well, since Megara counts as a Disney Princess, I'm adding her to my list because I really loved mm. her as a character. She was very amusing. <laughs> She's not really. Princess. She's marketed as she's marketed as one, just like Mulan is. Um, and then more recent versions, oh, yeah. Pocahontas definitely. Is yeah. Well, yeah, but Pocahontas is uh was daughter of a chieftain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she's so, mar but she's still marketed as one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's it's kind of like she's so she's basically in the same uh category as Moana. Right. Yeah. Hey, Blizzy. <laughs> God damn it! We're gonna get copyright struck. What the Bless. heck? <laughs> Bless, I am gonna put you in the in the deepest mountains in in. in in Vancouver, once we get to ever. Uh, 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 what was that? What was that? I couldn't hear you over the song. <laughs> <Yeah>. Oof. <laughs> <laughs>